Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Um, it's about four o'clock in the morning. And um, you know, someone has sent me a message with a photo. And the photo it looked like you know, the protesters in D.C. were, you know, running on the lawn, headed toward the White House, you know, so it got me up. And I don't know how true that is, but it will come out later if so. But anyway, you know, I went to searching for it here on Google and I typed in a uh, White House protest. So this is what come up. You see, five hours ago, Trump briefing takes uh, Trump briefing taken to underground bunker during Friday's White House protests. All right, about an hour ago, night of destruction across DC after protesters clashed with police outside White House. All right, so I'm gonna click on this. And there's a video here showing you how they setting things on fire. And uh, this is awful. We saw graffiti, once the door was broken, we saw something similar happen earlier. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's definitely a fire here. This is the parish office. Yeah, and you can tell this ain't nothing but George Soros paid protesters. You know, you got that group Antifa, Antifa, whatever how you say it, you know, which is um, Trump speaking on. He wants to label them a terrorist group. And, um, you know, you got a lot of this going on around the world, but this is at the White House in D.C. All right, let me click this one. I know it was another video I saw. You know, these are articles here. It's independent. Um, just one second. Let's see. It's about four hours ago. Chaos erupts as fires blaze across D.C. during protests. This is Fox 5. It's around in the White House. Let's see what they got. And we've been watching, what's really interesting that we've seen really within the last few minutes is that a line of D.C. police officers is protecting what appears to be the St. What is the St. Regis Hotel. They're right in front of the... See, and that's the thing. You know, I, will, I would think they would do that with the White House. But anyway, you know, this is uh, the Fluff News uh, narration. So, you know, you're going to see those real videos tomorrow maybe and get up off of social media. And things of that nature, you know. But um, anyway, I'm not gonna uh, make this long. You know, I was just uh, up and seeing this man, and this is all prophecy, man. Even though it's uh, plant, you know, by Edom, all right. But it's of the Most High's will. This place is uh, this place what you call America is on its way out, man. You know, this place is is done for. It's done, you know. Uh, let's see here where well, I want to start. This is second address 15 and I'll start here at, uh, I'll 
starting at, at 12. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. All right, and that ultimate plague is going to be that nuclear fire. All right. But it says, they that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fell through the blasted in hell and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. You know, death and destruction to you two thirds. You know, that's a part of this shit. All right. A part of all of this protesting and Black Lives Matter shit. All right. And woe to you, uh, you heathens. Scriptures say, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, for the sword in their destruction draweth near, okay, nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands, okay, because eventually, you know, no food, all right, they already tearing up their own, tearing up their own city. Okay, breaking and looting. You know Trump gonna come back with fire. You know, expect military to be in your city soon. You know, there's a video out, and um, that was uh pre pretty sure it's going viral now, where in uh, Missouri military were rolling up the street telling these folks to get in their house. They didn't listen, so they started shooting at them. You know, and you know it was, it was uh, rubber bullets. You heard the the woman say, ah, that hurts, you know? So the military and the police are not the same, man. They're going to treat you totally different, all right? It's about to be hell on earth. It says, for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, for there shall be sedition among men. You can see all this chaos, man. You can see all this looting, chaos shit. You know, lawlessness. All right. This is going to come on a daily base, man. We're, we're in the last days, man. Okay. Esau is going to come hard. All right. Fulfilling, uh, what's that? Revelations 12 and 12. The devil cometh down having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And this is a glimpse of it. All right. There ain't no going back now. You know, it's it's like they're allowing this shit to go on. You know, I, I would think the White House will be heavy will be heavy guarded, but it's not. You know, there's a picture that's on the tube I seen when a, you know somebody posted, and it showed that the White House lights were out. You know, they're gone. Trump is in a bunker. All right, his uh, Secret Service and, you know, who there. It's like they just left that place there. I mean, they got the riot police out there. But, you know, there is footage where, not video, but pictures. They on a, they on the lawn. They on the grass, man, running toward the White House. You know, it'll be something to see tomorrow if they actually got up in there, man. <laughs> you know, reminding me of, uh, what's the, uh, what's that, White House Down? That movie, and then they did a second one, a London Down or something like that, London Falling or something, you know, like a part two. You know, don't be surprised, man. Shit, the UN troops get in here, man. Foreign troop shit. You know, it'll be a red dawn out this mug. Anyway, you know, we know that these prophecies got to come to pass. The force of the chip is going to happen, man. All right. Meanwhile, the force of this vaccine. But um, this is verse 17. A man shall desire, a desire to go into a city and shall not be able. This is next. They're closing bridges down. You know, Trump was speaking on how these groups are going from city to city, you know, to create these, uh, you know, massive riot, riot protests. You know, he said that's, you know, a criminal acts against the law, you know, and he's blaming it on Antifa. You know, Antifa, whatever you said, it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. When military get here, you ain't going to be doing that. All right. We've seen a glimpse of it with the police shutting down, giving you a curfew. Now there's going to be strict curfew. All right. You can't sit on your porch, man, or, 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 without getting shot in your head with a rubber bullet. 
it says, and eventually them bullets are going to turn into them AK rounds, man. You know, it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You know, that's heavy. Great tribulation, man. Imagine, you know, you're going a couple of days without food because, you know, there is no food. All right. In the supermarkets, there is no supermarket. All right. No water. OK. And this thing just comes, man. The Lord is it's like prophecies popping like popcorn. You know, we did a lesson this week and I'll sit down, you know, I forgot the title. I can't think of the title right now, but, you know, it was around the lines of, um, you know, how these prophecies is just rolling in, man. You know, they're just coming back to back this whole year. As Elder Apostle Tahar coined this year, the year of prophecy is definitely been the year of prophecy. You know, it says verse 20, behold, say of the most high, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and Lebanus, to turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. So will I do also and recompense in their bosom, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. All right, because we're truly living in Second Edges 9, man, where the Lord said he's visiting this earth in which he made. All right, all of you fools out there that mocked us, you mocked this word, you despise this truth. Well, your judgment is near. It says, verse 23, the fire is gone forth from his wrath. And have consumed the foundation of the earth and the sinners like a straw that is kindled. Woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power defile not my sanctuary. For the Lord know of all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. So Yahweh's mashapat, all right? Yahweh's judgment is coming, man. It's coming, man. Death and destruction. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. You can clearly see, starting with this COVID thing. Even before, you know, you had a massive protesters. Everybody was uneased, man. Okay? And then we had this COVID, which took the world, this, this uh, plan-demic all right, took the world by storm and this invisible enemy, as the president said, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them for the most high shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. All right, behold, an horrible vision. Ooh, ooh. Worse than this. This ain't nothing, man. This ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. All right. This ain't nothing, man. It says, um, verse 28, behold an horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth that they which hear them may fear and tremble. All right. Now, this is jumping. All right. Into that time where um, Esau want to go into Iran, man. All right, and the Carmanians, which is Iran. OK. Which is uh, joining together with Ishmael. You know, Elder Apostle Rumlob just kind of briefly went over this, too. Well, thoroughly went over it. Elder Apostle Tahar as well. But, you know, that's all I wanted to get. Speaking on this, dealing with this dealing with this right now before that you know because this is a prophecy that's that's about to happen too all right when the also the carmanians raging and wrath shall come forth as a wild bull 
of the wood. All this is going to take place as well. But right now, you know, we focus on this, man. The White House, man. D.C. All right. Lights out. So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. It's about 4.11 in the morning. And, um, you know, I was watching this, man. Just watching, you know, because ain't nothing else to do. You know, sleep in the kingdom. All right, so I hope you were edified. I want to give all praise to y'all. Bashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.